What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, I'm here with my buddy Joshua. Joshua is a fellow pressure washer and he does some pretty interesting work. Now, for those of you who didn't know, the last video that me and Joshua did together got 1.4 million views in less than two months. Absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for your support on that one. In this video, we're going to address some of the comments and concerns from that original video. But before we get into that, I want to mention that there will be a link below to a pressure washing business course giveaway. We'll be giving away three courses covering everything that you need to know in order to start your pressure washing business or scale it to the next level. So if you'd like to enter, click the first link in the comment section and the description in your email and you'll be entered to win. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this. Joshua, how's it going, man? Good. How are you doing, Justin? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. So the biggest concern from the previous video was the fact that you weren't wearing any safety harnesses or anything. Um, and we are going to include a clip here at the end of you actually jumping off of a roof and you're going to break that down. Uh, but what do you have to say to the people who are worried or concerned with the fact that you don't wear a safety harness when you do this? Um, well, the biggest thing is down here in Florida, most of the homes here don't have any kind of eye hooks or actual uh, implanted devices that hold me up on a roof. So most people do like rope gigs where they'll wrap something around something and hopefully that will hold them up. Um, but the biggest thing I've come across is, you know, if they have eye hooks, if they have something for me to place on, I do have a harness, which I do wear. I use it in bucket trucks. I use it on places who have them. Um, but for the most part, they're just not, they're not here, you know, and that tells me that the people who cleaned it before me didn't use one. The roofers who put it on didn't use one. The people doing inspections don't use one. You know, and I drive around and I'll see jobs everywhere with nobody wearing harnesses, which I understand that that is an issue. But if I'm not supplied, you know, if I try and tell my customer, you need to pay 600 bucks to put harnesses in your house, you're just going to call the next person. You know, so I got to do what I got to do, you know, until it becomes something that's more regulated here. You know, there's nothing I can do besides, you know, quit my job, which I don't want to do. Another one of the things that was said on the other video a lot was that you were damaging the tile and we addressed it in the last video, but do you want to kind of touch on it again in this one? Absolutely. Um, yeah. So when it comes to tile, you know, a lot of people see what, you know, a surface cleaner up there and, you know, they don't understand that there's modifications that you can put on those. Um, there's pressure gauges. I'm using an eight gallon per minute, 3,500 PSI Honda GX 690. Like, you know, I have adjustable tips. I have adjustable throttle where I can actually turn it down. Um, you know, there's a certain pressure that you're shooting at that removes the algae and mold, and not damage it. Like if you were standing next to me, my, my surface cleaner is literally floating across the top. There's no, you know, there's no contact with the roof beside direct water pressure. And another thing that you mentioned to me was when we talked last that you work with roofers. So everything that you do is kind of like predicated on the fact that you've talked with them and you know the proper precautions to use. Correct. Yeah, we're actually members of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, we get a lot of jobs through roofing companies and inspectors who go through a house and inspect it, but need to have the algae and move, uh, mold removed in order to actually see what's really going on. So they call us to come clean it. And then they go back up, do their inspection, and everything's clear coded and, and finalized. You know, um, I feel that if there was an issue, um, inspectors and roofers would have an issue with me being up there. But instead, they actually call me to to clean it for them and knowing how I clean, um, and then you know go through and do any repair work that's needed. Absolutely. So another thing that we discussed too was the pre-inspection. So can you kind of tell the viewers, what is the pre-inspection process that goes on before you even get on the roof for a cleaning? Absolutely. So first thing I do is I always walk the roof. Um, I take video and photo evidence, you know, kind of show what's going on. Um, out of the thousands and thousands of roofs I've cleaned, I've really never seen one roof without a broken tile, a slip tile, broken mortar, cat tiles that are loose. You know, that's almost a given standard as bad as that may sound down here. Um, but, you know, at the same time, when I actually get on the roof, I come down, let the customer know what's going on. Um, if there's major damages or multiple broken tiles, um, I usually recommend them to have it fixed if it's anything that's going to cause an issue with me pressure cleaning. Um, the main issue with leaks is things get stuck in between the cracks of those tiles and make dams, which creates the water to be able to pull there and actually eat into the under roof of your, of your layment. Um, the tile is just the first layer of protection. It protects from the sun and UV rays, but then you have your under roof underneath that where the water goes through and drains. 
Um, same factor as if there's a crack and you and you soft wash, it's going to run inside that crack and run down the interior of the roof either way. Um, so I always do before and after pictures um, to show what it looks like afterwards. And all, you know, as you may know, you record them as well. Um, you'll see that tile break under my foot if it breaks. I mean, it's it's clear and coat right there. You know, you can't fake that. And if you watch me walk, you know, you see that nothing breaks under me. And it, it's it's due to experience and knowing what I'm doing and where I'm walking um, and the confidence in, in knowing what I'm doing. Yeah, and another thing that you mentioned to me was that obviously you're doing a good enough job to continue to get business because if you were doing a bad job, you'd be creating a bad name for yourself within your community and obviously no one would be calling you anymore, right? Absolutely, no. I wouldn't expect them to at least. So in this clip that everybody's about to see, this is a clip of you actually jumping off the roof that you sent me. So could you kind of walk us through um, the steps and precautions that you're taking while jumping off the roof? So what ha what had happened was I had lost my ladder on this roof. So I decided I had my phone in my pocket and just kind of record, you know, proper way of getting off a roof. Um, so what I, the best thing to do is, you know, find a good empty spot. And when you jump, you really want to roll into it. Um, you don't want that, 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 all your weight just landing on your legs. That's how you have issues with your ankles and your back. And, you know, you don't want that compression. You want to land like a cat, you know, and, and tuck and roll, you know, spread that force out. Um, you know, you don't want to jump high, you know. So basically what I showed there was just, you know, that the proper way, if you're gonna have to get off a roof and or fall, which is why in the last video I said I jumped when I slipped, you know, I chose to jump off knowing that I could um that you know and having that confidence is you know just do it if you hesitate you know that's when you're going to get hurt you know and that goes with anything really don't hesitate just just do you know okay joshua so for anybody who's made it this far in the video i usually do a word of the day uh since you are the guest you get to pick the word of the day what would you like the word of the day to be sweet sweet if you made it this far in the video comment down below sweet and i'll hashtag your real one Make sure you go check out Joshua's channel for more content like this. He does great work, and uh, we'll definitely be having him on the channel again. Uh, so until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace. Peace.